Vagilant is a Jamaican reggae singer, a Rastafarian who believes that Haley Selassie is kings of kings and lords of lords. He has recently came out on social media disrespecting Gina Jennings because on many occasions Gina Jennings, by God's permission, spoke out against men with long hair and the sinful Rastafarian religion. Rastafari, sometimes called Rastafarianism, is a religion that developed in Jamaica during the 1930s. Haile Selassie was the emperor of Ethiopia from 1930 to 1974 and has become a key figure to the Rastafari movement. They regard Haile Selassie as God because Marcus Garvey made a prophecy saying, Look at Africa where a black king shall be crowned. He shall be the redeemer. This prophecy was followed by the ascension of Haile Selassie as emperor of Ethiopia and they quickly made him the god of the black race. Rastafarians used biblical names such as Lords of Lords, Kings of Kings and the Conquering Lion of the Tribe of Judah for Haile Selassie. These terms has been used throughout history to describe Ethiopian emperors. But with the crowning of Haile Selassie, they were seen as evidence that supports his status. Many Rastafarians chase Haile Selassie's lineage back to King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. They believe that Queen Sheba's visit to King Solomon found in the book of 1 Kings chapter 10 verse 1 to 13 provides further proof of the divinity of Haile Selassie. Rastafarians believe that King Solomon and Queen Sheba had sex during the visit which led to the conception of a child who was in the same line of descendants as Haile Selassie. To many Rastafarians, this shows the divine nature of Haile Selassie. As Haile Selassie is therefore related to Solomon's father King David and therefore to Jesus. Despite their beliefs, Haile Selassie never regarded himself as God, nor did he believe or practice any such thing regarding to Rastafarianism. Yo, Pastor Gina Jennings, are you me attack? Me want you allow the right Honorable Robert Nesta Marlin name out your mouth and Emperor Haile Selassie and Rastafari Makan and the first name out your mouth. How you man? Nobody know you. The man is big and be known all over the world. Nobody no know you. I feel me I come try to look after the man them. I come try to hype up on the man them. Nobody know you man. You are just one next to one of them you know. One next to one of them you know. Like Ora Roberts and Jimmy Swaggart them. The whole of them will come teep up black people money. Two black people love Christianity and righteousness so much. You understand and love God. You know, come and trick them with a little Christianity thing. And come try to deceive the people them. You just one next to one of seek heart and soul you know. To bottom it you know. With the devil, you know. More allow the man in here out here, little demon who opens up all come out. We are come try size up with Rastafari. Eh? I come talk about Selassie I dead. Then it's somebody the case biblically. Jesus now dead and kneel upon a cross with some ten penny nail and ball out. Eh? Ball out when them put tan pan him head. And, and, and shoot sword to him side. And then ball out when they whip him in a ball out. Eh? They are come talk about Selassie I and lie and one bag of things. Know yourself, man. And about to come size up with the man them. Because we soon find you out, you know. We soon find out you. When you don't try to start war with Muslim already, and now you want to try to start holy war with Rastafari. Know yourself, Gina Jennings. Know your look yourself. I don't know tell you. You think I like Vegas this way, you out of church. Know yourself. I love the man them name out of your mouth. You're big like Robert Nesta Mali. Eh? You're big like Emperor Celestia. Eh? Listen, my man, from the 2nd of November 1930, Emperor Selassie crowned kings of kings and lord of lord. When they crucified Jesus, when they look up on him, him cross up there. King of the Jews. So know yourself, man. Know yourself, and if you are going to preach, you preach. And allow Rastafari. Because Rastafari is not serious. Allow Rastafari. I come try to deceive the people from Rastafari. Tell the people about Nazarene for and make your ear grow up and your head long. The truth is, ball and shape like scrape and, and, and shine and feel a baby body. Yeah, come, come try disrespect Emperor Selassie. Eh? Go read number six, man. The locks pay that grow. How am I? When Vajalan came on social media cussing out Gina Jennings about Haley Selassie and defending his long hair, he needs to remember that Haley Selassie did not have what they call dreadlocks or long hair. But Marley is one of the many that helps to make the Rastafarian movement so popular. And that's why they are defending him so much. Though Bob Marley was baptized on November 4th, 1980 in the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, he was still a sinner and he died a sinner. So Bob Marley is on his way to hell and Vagilant is on his way to hell also if he don't repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and get rid of his long hair. The scripture is clear on men wearing long hair. The scripture says in 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 14, Does not nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him? What God is saying is that it does not take a man to be saved to know that it is wrong to have long hair because common sense should tell us that. 
It's not anything to ponder or wonder about because we know from nature that men cut their hair and women grow their hair. But now you have women cutting their hair and men growing their hair. And you long haired men want to wear your hair long like a woman. Like a woman. Moving your hair around. <laughs> Using your wife bobby pins. That's right. Bobby pins ain't made for you. No. Bobby pins ain't made for that woman. That's right. That's right. Well, I'm a Rastafarian. Who cares? Who cares? You better be holy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, I follow King Heli Selassie. Heli Selassie's dead. Amen. He's the king of kings and laws of laws. He, that's a lie out of hell. Well, that's a lie. Come until on. the appearing until, of our Lord Jesus Christ. Until the appearing of who? Of our Lord Jesus Christ. What else did he tell us about Jesus? Which in his time. Which in his time. He shall show. The Lord will show us. Who is the blessed. Who is the blessed. And only potentate. And only potentate. Tell us who the Bible said he is. The king of kings. What? The king of kings. And Lord of lords. King of kings and Lord of lords. To whom be honor, honor and power and power everlasting. Hallelujah. King Heli Selassie ain't everlasting. That's right. That's right. That's blaspheme. Yes. And the island of Jamaica ran with it. Yeah. Mm. And one of the ones that ran with it and made it so popular was Mr. Marley. Mm. Kings of kings make kings. songs. Lords of lords. King Heli Selassie was no more king of kings, lords of lords, than I'm Princess Diana's brother. <laughs> That's right. Vajalan made mention of the Nazarite law and how Samson's strength was in his hair. But he failed to focus on the fact that Samson was called a Nazarite. In the Old Testament, there was a law of the Nazarite in which persons who separated themselves unto the Lord had to keep. The law did not only entail not cutting the hair, but also other things as well. The scripture says in Numbers chapter 6 beginning at verse 1, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When either man or woman shall separate themselves to vow a vow of the Nazarite, to separate themselves unto the Lord, he shall separate himself from wine and strong drink, and shall drink no vinegar of wine, or vinegar of strong drink. Neither shall he drink any liquor of grapes, nor eat any moist grapes or dried. All the days of his separation shall he eat nothing that is made of the vine tree, from the carnal even to the husk. All the days of the vow of his separation there shall no razor come upon his head, until the days be fulfilled, unto the which he separated himself unto the Lord. He shall be holy and shall let the locks of his hair of his head grow. All the days that he separated himself unto the Lord, he shall come at no dead body. He shall not make himself unclean for his father, or for his mother, or for his brother, or for his sister, when they die, because the consecration of the Lord is upon his head. All the days of his separation he is holy unto the Lord. So, Samson was a Nazarite, and he was under the law. So in the Old Testament, when you were a Nazarite under the law, and your days are fulfilled, then you can go and do the things that you were abstaining from. And the razor was able to go upon your head and cut your hair after the vow was fulfilled in your life. In the Old Testament, Samson was under a temporary vow. Our strength is not in our hair now. It is in our body, which is the power of God. If Vajalan knew this and understand the scriptures, he would not have said what he said. And he would not have disrespected Gina Jennings. In fact, he would have agreed with him. But that's just how it is when the devil has confused our minds into believing lies. Anyways, I do hope that you enjoyed watching this video and I do pray that we all continue in striving to please God. Please remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching.